Good afternoon, this is the latest video update on Typhoon Saola and severe tropical storm Damri. This is the 1st of August of 2012 and we begin the month of August with a very uh, busy uh, tropical cyclone activity here in the Western Pacific. Continue to watch Typhoon Saola or Bagyong Hiner still within the Philippine area of responsibility. Last look at approximately 410 kilometers north-northeast of Pasco Batanes or about 210 kilometers southeast of Taipei, Taiwan. Um, it is also uh, located approximately 70 kilometers um, southwest of the Ishikagijima Islands here in Japan. You can see the latest visible image. Storm uh, continued to intensify, as I said, is now a typhoon with maximum sustained winds of up to 130 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 185. Saula is currently moving north northwestward at, at uh, 15 kilometers per hour. This we, uh, warnings are from JMA, uh, this latest analysis. JTWC um, has uh, higher wind analysis of uh, actually they are now up to um, 165 kph so some differences among the agencies here but uh, in terms of the overall look of the typhoon you can see the system so maintaining the cyclonic look the eye has actually um, appeared back under the cloud cover uh, although the uh, that doesn't really mean weakening at this point, we're still expecting the system to intensify in the next 12 to 24 hours, still favorable, favorable conditions in the area. And as it is uh, being uh, close proximity across, across the islands and into Taiwan, we have still have warnings uh, from actually from Pagasa. As of this morning, still signal number two in the islands north of Luzon, signal number one for extreme northern Luzon, including Kagan and Apayao. JMA also showing plethora of warnings, uh, particularly storm warning and highway warning across the islands of Ishigajima and uh, Miyakojima. They're also um, issuing warnings for Kyushu and the island south of it due to tropical storm Damri, which we will also discuss later in our update. Um, Central Weather Bureau of Taiwan also issuing typhoon warnings in many counties, many cities in the, um, in the island there. So continue monitoring the news definitely. Looking at the infrared image, again, as I said, the eye has disappeared back under the cloud cover, although we are seeing strong convective activity trying to and continuing to wrap around that low-level circulation center. We are seeing some uh, uh, dry air uh, from the west of the storm, and you can see in this microwave image, the uh, eye wall is still uh, incomplete as of the moment of the south, uh, southern side remaining open. However, the lower levels, you can see in this accompanied microwave image 37 gigahertz also showing the eye still uh, pretty developed actually somewhat developed I would say in the lower levels and um, the image also shows you again those uh, inflow bands this is much better seen in the infrared again showing you the southwest monsoon and the inflow again uh, enhanced by the very broad circulation of Saula still affecting parts of northern Luzon and again as I said Batanes group of islands uh, areas here have actually reported more than 250 millimeters of rain so far in the past 24 hours so still some very heavy rains that's why they are still under signal number two and also uh, accompanied by strong winds of up to 100 kilometers per hour there looking at the ra latest radar image from JMA you can see the eye of this uh, of Saula now beginning to be picked up by radar and showing you the um, inner rain bands now affecting Ishigajima and Miyakojima and also uh, those tho along those bands some um, light to moderate rains and even pockets of very heavy rains. Uh, we have already seen up to 50 millimeters in some uh, in some reporting stations here and as the system continues to move northward slowly tonight you could see another 100 millimeters so very heavy rain across parts of the Japanese islands and that also translates across um, Taiwan as the as you can see here uh, excellent uh, image from the radar the eye wall being shown here and again, the inner and out outer and inner rain bands beginning to move in, f move in from the uh, from the east, uh, particularly affecting the northern part of the country. And you can see in this uh, precipitation map, much of the heavy rains are situated again on the northeastern part of the country, upwards of 200 millimeters of rain, even uh, some areas of 300 millimeters of rain along these mountainous areas, definitely bringing the possibility of landslides and even flash floods, urban flooding, definitely. In, in some areas, so continue monitoring that as well. Now, as for the forecast, um, again, the forecasting agency is still remaining on the idea of a close pass northeastern tip of Taiwan, probably later tonight or into tomorrow morning, and a uh, landfall 
uh, near the Shenzhen province by Friday morning, uh, there is still uh, a small chance of, of Saul undergoing a brief rapid intensification tonight and into tomorrow, and JTWC is still expecting the system to peak at around Category 3 typhoon, and JME is still also expect the system to intensify as well. So, um, a very ominous uh, forecast, uh, not only for the northern part of Taiwan, but also for e southeastern uh, China. So, you need to monitor the system there as well. Um, now we move on to the other tropical system that we're watching. We have se severe tropical storm uh, Damri now moving south of Kyushu, last away to approximately 140 kilometers south southwest of Kagoshima, or about uh, 60 kilometers west of the uh, Yakushima Island. This is Yakushima and this is Tanegashima. Maximum sustained winds are uh, 100 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 150. This is, again, from JMA. JTWC actually upgraded the system to a typhoon with winds of up to 120, citing, again, the continued improvement in satellite appearance. Uh, the system continues to move quickly to the west-northwest at 35 kilometers per hour. It is actually expected to make landfall um, Thursday afternoon, that's tomorrow, across the eastern coast of China. I showed, uh, I mentioned the, the um, improvement in the banding, and you can see in this microwave image showing the strong banding activity, particularly in the eastern and northern side of the storm, it's continuing to wrap across the uh, southern part, though, as the system uh, actually um, takes advantage of the warm waters here in along the Kurushu current situated southern, in southern Japan, so um, allowing the system to intensify and could probably uh, remain in that somewhat favorable position in uh, for for another 12 to, uh, 12 hours it will start to move in into the eastern china sea uh, with uh, should start encountering cooler waters and stronger wind shear but uh, uh, jdwc is still expecting this to intensify slightly tonight jma um uh, thinks that the system have now peaked but uh, either way uh, heavy rains and strong winds are uh, beginning to to pile up here across the tanegashima Island, the Yakushima Island, also here, southern part of Kyushu. Uh, many areas already reporting of 50, uh, 50 millimeters or more. And um, although the system is quite fast, as I said, moving west northwestward to 30 kilometers per hour, so not expecting phenomenal amounts of rainfall, but still uh, enough to cause flooding and, and uh, landslides. JMA, as I said, issued warnings for flooding and storm warnings across these areas. You can find a, a complete list of warnings in our, uh, we'll, we'll uh, leave a link below in our, our uh, video description. As you can see, the um, some sort of an eye uh, being picked up by, the, by radar as well. The system moved through two hours ago. Uh, wind reports of up to uh, 80 kilometers per hour recorded as well. Um, some areas, some stations actually reported gusts of near typhoon strength. So it just gives you an idea of, of, um, of the intensity of the system. But thankfully, the system is now moving away from the Japanese islands, but not without bringing more rains, probably last another 6 to 12 hours, but expect improving conditions tonight and into uh, tomorrow. But as I said, the system is now forecast to make landfall here in, in the um, uh, along the eastern coast of China in the province of Jiangsu, probably around 200 kilometers north of Shanghai. That's tomorrow afternoon, Thursday. As a strong tropical storm or a typhoon, depending on the rate of intensification, it manages to uh, to make tonight. Um, much of the forecast track still continuing that a uh, west northwest westward track, but um, some agencies, particularly JMA, forecasting a track to the north um, crossing the Shandong Peninsula by um, Friday. So, uh, some well difference differences here. Uh, we continue to keep monitoring the system, but as of right now, the consensus keeps the system on a uh, track towards the eastern coast of. Um, of China. And before we end our video update, we are looking again at the uh, basin, Western Pacific Basin. Again, we have Saola, Damri, and another area of low pressure actually what we're watching right now. Invest 99W this forecast to develop into a tropical cyclone in the next two days, two to three days. And you can see in this, uh, this is the model tracks page basically showing the um, cyclone potential cyclones models are picking up and this seems to be 99w which is forecast by many models very good agreement in terms of the uh, in terms of development uh, probably uh, becoming a tropical cyclone in the next 
two to three days. Um, much of the forecast track is still up in the air, but continue to watch the system as it develops. Um, looking back with the Western Pacific, continue to see again those very long and very strong enhancement of the south southwest monsoon by um, tropical uh, typhoon Saula, bringing rains uh, into northern and western Luzon. Um, Manila has seen lesser rains as of the moment, although the continued southwest winds actually bringing and uh, piling waters along the uh, Manila Bay, flooding many uh, roads and boulevards um, in the uh, in the region, even though Saula is moving far away. You expect southwest monsoon to slightly weaken as the system dissipates by the weekend, but still continue uh, ex- continue to expect uh, rainy days um, in the next in the next few days, basically. But um, uh, the rest of the Philippines, Visayas and Mindanao, enjoying drier weather, it's still some chances of thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon. And that ends our uh, lengthy video update again today. Uh, again, we need to watch and monitor the systems uh, we are tracking for Pagasa JMA and especially Central Weather Bureau for those of you in Taiwan. Stay safe, guys. Bye.